Welcome to tonight's broadcast. My name is Pish and tonight I am handling uh, the wilderness experience. Now in our time, most people have taught wilderness experience as a place of suffering. And so when a person doesn't have a job and you have this trouble or that trouble, you are sickly or you know, you have some kind of, you know, uh, uncomfortability in life, we assume that you're in the wilderness experience. But when I look at the biblical definition of the wilderness, it is not a place of suffering. Now, actually, it is in the wilderness where there were more miracles than in Canaan. It is in the wilderness where uh, their shoes and their clothes grew with them. It is in the wilderness where a rock produced water. It is in the wilderness where they had a cloud during the day covering them from the scorching sun and at night there was a pillar of fire uh, lighting their way and giving them warmth for the night now when you look at all these things in the wilderness there was provision of manna and quails it was a daily provision so the wilderness experience was not a place of suffering Actually, it is in the wilderness where God began to introduce himself uh, to them. It is in the wilderness he introduced his law. It is in the wilderness that he introduced the template of worship. He introduced um, the Ark of Covenant because it was a replica of the temple in heaven. Now, when you look at all these things, the wilderness experience is not a place of uh, of suffering. It is a place where men come to after they come from the from the world, from Egypt. It is a place of training. It is in the wilderness that God trains believers how to pray. It is in the wilderness that uh, God begins to train you how to read and understand the word of God. It is in the wilderness you begin to learn how to hear God, how to pray prayers uh, of intercession, application you begin uh, to understand the doctrine and the ways of god so the wilderness experience it is a necessity for a believer going to canaan <laughs> my goodness because canaan cannot be possessed by men without a wilderness experience and if you possess Canaan, without the wilderness experience, you will begin to worship the blessing instead of the blesser. And that has been the chaos of our today. And on the other hand, we have a people in the wilderness and they are never graduating. Uh, and Because uh, when you read the book of Exodus, the wilderness was not meant to stay for 40 years. It is out of their disobedience. The Bible says they were a stiff naked people that they prolonged their season in the wilderness. And God occasionally had to come and uh, at times tell them, like in Deuteronomy 1 6, that uh, you know, break this camp and begin to move because they were stagnant uh, at, at, at a one point. And today I came to call people in wilderness. The only way to live wilderness fast, it is by yielding, it is by obeying the word of God. When God calls you to prayer, run. When God's call, God calls you to fast, begin fasting. When God calls you to read the word, you know, go, 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 go. Because when you prolong that season, you will stay there for long. That's why some people have been in cycles for two years, five years, ten years, because they are never graduating from the wilderness experience. And it is so sad. And today, I came to call the, everyone in the wilderness, begin to obey the word of God. If God calls you to prayer, go and pray. If God calls you to fast, uh, run as soon as possible, because you are prolonging your season of the wilderness experience, because it is a place of training. God begins to to introduce himself to men and God cannot use you God cannot take you uh, to to Canaan without the wilderness experience you have to be trained to hear God you have to be trained to understand the scriptures you have to be trained how to pray for you to begin to move forward and today I came to remind somebody, uh, be obedient to the word of God. When God tells you jump, you ask how high, not why. The wilderness experience and you shall graduate. You know, be obedient and you shall graduate very soon. And soon you'll begin to possess your Canaan. Because Canaan cannot be possessed by people without a wilderness experience. That's why people like Joshua and Caleb, when they came to Canaan, they were so 
you know they were very they were very brave uh caleb possesses hebron a whole mountain at the age of 85 this when you read joshua 19 joshua possesses a whole city alone because these are people who had encountered god in the wilderness and so they knew this uh, is a small matter my goodness so <laughs> i i i came to call somebody Rise to the occasion, be obedient to the Holy Spirit, and you shall leave wilderness. You shall break cycles.